Okay, this is going to be a discussion of how to um, complete your illusion project. I know some of you are a little bit unsure as to how to get going on it, and this video tutorial is going to be um, a help, hopefully, to you so that you can get it finished up and get it turned in quickly. Um, basically, you have a couple of illusions that I have given you, and you are going to create a multimedia presentation using the template that I provided for you in the assignment uh, portal. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have images that relate to the illusion. You're going to have another slide that explains the background or the origin of, of the topics that I gave you. You know, how did they originate? How did they start? What's the story? That's, that's going to be a slide that has mainly words on it. And then the third most important part is for you to include some examples of how that illusion is being referred to in modern day categories, like how's it being used in music or how's it being used in movies? Um, how is it being used in, in books that have been written since that illusion came to be originally? How is it being used maybe in video games or in um, commercials that we see or advertisements that we see? Because that this is the point of the entire project is that you are not only able to learn about the, um, the topic I gave you and the background on it, but why is it why has it become an illusion, a common, commonly used illusion today in, in modern pop culture? So, so this one is going to be the important one where you take a slide and you add, um, maybe it, you hear it in, the, in a song lyric, or maybe you hear it referred to in a movie, or maybe it's a part of the title of the movie. Um, this is the important part of the project. And then on your last slide, you're going to include the URL addresses that you went to to find all of your information. So you're going to need to have probably at least two um, URL sites, one for one illusion and at least one for your other illusion. So if you want to go over to um, this Prezi, it kind of gives you an example of what a finished product would look like. Um, this is, of course, not going to look like your Google Slideshow, but it's going to um, give you an idea of what to put on your slides, okay? So this um, first uh, slide is the title slide, and it has Illusion Project and the student's name and the block. I'd like for you to put the date. Um, notice that they put a pretty piece of art on their project, and they didn't leave the fonts plain. They added color and they added style to their fonts. The next slide shows you a picture of Pandora's box because that's the the illusion that that student was assigned. It came from mythology. You might want to add that to your to your illusion slide number two. Was it historical? Was it mythology? Was it biblical? Was it historical? Okay, the next one is the background and origin. This is where pa the story of Pandora, okay? And she took some time looking it up on the internet and put it in her own words, the story of Pandora. The next slide um, is also showing you what happened to Pandora, a little bit more background. And this is a book. Um, where the story, where Pandora's box was actually referenced in this, this story called Pandora's Curse. And it was written in 2001. She also found the illusion, mm, and she takes a minute to explain how the illusion worked in the book, which is a nice addition. Then she also found it in music. She found it in this song, and then she also found it um, in Aerosmith, some of Aerosmith's songs. Okay, so she she found two examples of Pandora's box being mentioned in music. She also found it in movies. She noticed that she put the movie poster 
on there as her image. And then she listed the title of the movie, the year it was made, and then discussed the uh, significance of Pandora's box in the movie. And then she uh, included a trailer from the movie, which is also, I highly encourage you to do that whenever possible. Um, YouTube songs or video trailers of, of movies, um, whatever you can find that is animated is also a, an added bonus to a, to a presentation or a project. She saw it in video games. She found it in Final Fantasy VI, and she also found it in House of the Dead and uh, God of War. And so she included two of those illusions. Okay, she found it in two companies. In modern day, the Pandora Jewelry Company and Pandora Internet Radio, which is what we're listening to right now in the background. Um, you do not have to do related words. So that's going to give you an idea on how to get started. So I'm going to close the Prezi and we're going to look at the student project. Now, if you look at the title slide, this is going to be, this is just the base template for the title slide. You want to add a creative background by maybe going to, um, slide, change background, and you might choose an image. And you could go to Google image search and you could type um, colored backgrounds because I want something colorful. Wow, there's a lot of interesting colors. Um, I'm going to choose this one. You just click on it and click on insert done and there is your background okay of course you can do anything make anything a background you can um, select um, a couple of your illusions or one of your illusions or whatever you want to do but make it uh, an eye-catching title slide notice that I, I made the um, font sizes larger and a little bit more fancy you could even make it even fancier if you wanted to. Illusion Project and your name and the date. Okay. And make sure you erase all of the um, directions up top. You want it to look good and um, professional and you don't want instructions left on your template. Okay, so the next slide is just going to have the name of your first illusion and an image of your first illusion. That's it. And then you may want to put a nice background behind it. And then the next slide is your explanation. This is where you go and look up the background, what your illusion is about. Okay. And this, this is where you type the background information, the origin of your topic that you were given. And then on slide number four, this is where you're going to show a, a picture or a video example of how the illusion is being used in music or movies or video games, just one of these, okay? Remember in the Prezi, she, she had examples of Pandora's box from just about every aspect, from music, movies, video games, but you only have to find one, okay? And then you're going to do your second topic, your second illusion, Name it and, and put an image that relates to it and then an explanation of it. What is the background? You know, look it up and write about the story about how it was created. And then your picture or video example of how this illusion is being used. Maybe, maybe you see it in a movie or a video game. You've got to look on the internet. Remember, you are keeping a list of all the websites that you use and you're going to put them on this last slide. And there should be a minimum of two, at least, um, on your final slide in order for you to get credit for that. So that is how you set up and complete your illusion project. Uh, please reach out to me if you need additional help.